Hello there everyone, uh, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome back to They Are Billions. Which is, I think is don't lie because they are definitely a billion and one. Yes, I counted them all, it's a billion and one. Maybe. <laughs> or something, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and he's fixing? Oh, one of the walls over there and he's fixing. Oh. Okay. Um, continuing up from where we left off last time, I am focusing on getting things up, and I want to know where to expand to, which is why I've just researched Lookout Towers. So we can actually start to work on that. I think my next tech is going to be Stone Workshop, though, because we need to advance our level and try to get Splash Units. Because, you know, Splash Units are vaguely important. I can afford one Lookout Tower. Hmm, where to put this? I will put it, I think, down here so I can see this side, the area where I've not been, and decide if I want to try and push out here with my gun units. I think that's probably a good idea. If I put tower there, tower there. Look out there. No, wait. Oh, yeah, I remember. I was, I was trying to work out if... Oh, I don't have the... Damn it. I don't have any energy left. Uh, oh wait, can I fit a wood? No, I don't have the energy left to play with anything. Ah, oh. well, there's space over here. So I was gonna—I was thinking about maybe putting a house here, but energy is definitely more important. So I'll do that. On the bright side, though, I'm actually selling iron as an excess resource right now. But that's not that much, quite honestly. I've, I've actually looked at the prices. If it's selling at this price, then it's like. I sell five years for 20 gold. I mean, look at the disparity here. Five for five, buy it for 100. 200 to buy stone, 400 to buy iron, 800 to buy oil. So it makes sense, though, in this uh, post apocalypse world. Like, resources are really scarce or things like that. But still. I don't know. Come on, I, I want to put down... Actually, if I put... I think I can fit a house there, no matter what. So that means I want to put a lockout tower there. Ah, there it is, good. Right. Can I fit one there? Yes. Answer that question really quickly, as soon as I could afford it. Which is why, I, as I mentioned last time, some kind of neutral indicator like orange or, or just like, you can't afford this right now on the tooltip. But just so you can see where something would fit would be... A welcome addition. Anyway, military, give me a lookout post down here. Some most reveal down this section rather than this one, but it's close enough to re reveal both. I do need to grab a warehouse when I can, which is 400 gold, because I do need more resources in storage. I just need more gold, too. But warehouse is going to boost my income a little bit because it's going to let me, um, it's going to give me a production bonus on a lot, almost all of my production structures. So, you know, it's going to be welcome addition in that regard. Kind of wish I hadn't done that earlier because when I deleted that last time I got half the resources back, didn't I? I could do it with more soldiers though. Uh, can I afford this? No, it's gold that's my issue. Do you need me? I just need gold. Attention. Gold, gold, gold. I need the shiny stuff. Oh, good. We've got stone research available already. Ah, here we go. Alright, we've got a potential expansion zone here. I can push out of here and choke there, choke there. Grab that section. And it's got prime housing estate, actually. Because, you know, there's a lot of space down there. So I'm going to install a gate over there. It's not re revealed much of this one. I didn't think it would because um, I suspect in the recent updates, Lookout Tower's got nerfed slightly. Don't don't quote me on that. I just feel like they don't quite reveal as much as they used to. But yeah, I think I can push out through here like that, and I should probably reinforce my defences a bit more. One, two, three, four. Five. So, yeah, a full production queue because I've got five choke points effectively right now. 
Just get some extra rangers available to help me hold it. Seems like a good idea. Because that, because frankly, you, that's always need for extra defence, isn't it? Always, always, always. And I'll put a lookout tower up here as well to keep an eye on this area. Frankly, I think this is a double expansion. I put a wall across there. It's still a safe bet just to help reinforce it. And then I can hit the double choke across there. So, yeah, that's actually just generally a good idea. Hmm. At least I think it is. Got one in you. Got you there. Reinforce this side. Come on, almost built it. still kind of think that feel like I need an extra barracks though but um, that's just a bit of impatience I think I'm not at the point where I, frankly I burn through my gold reserve so quickly I don't really need it okay so that's revealed oh there's some choke there's some nice choke there this area is like sporadically covered in zombies so yeah not much going on that way Let's get this one. This is so big it needs two. But I do need to get a scouting post out this way as well. Tower. And that's going to be an empty, so I'll put a tower in that corner. And just to see what the hell's out here, I should probably put one in this area as well. Let's see. Since I'm actively trying to get this area, I should actually start to expand my power grid out this way too. Where can I fit a power tower? A tower of power. There's one nearby. I, mean, I can put one into this defensive grid here, but I want this wall to be thicker, stronger, faster, better than any other type. That's a bit too close, that on there though. I think I'll have to mount this thing outside the wall as well, won't I? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to mount this up outside the wall. And that has to go there. Where can I fit one of these guys? It's going to have to be down this way. So, NG Tower has to go here. That's relatively okay. Two, two, two. Let's give this Elite Archer an additional one. Sorry, elite veteran, isn't it? I'm in a good place right now. Yeah, we need we definitely need an additional one down here, actually. This veteran's alright, so pull you out there, send you down there. Just to make sure that things don't get past these guys and start causing trouble. And give me spike traps. Alright. Jolly good. Apparently, gold is still my main problem. But I am definitely expanding faster than I did last time as well. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, also, I'm almost out of power again. Ah! Power! Can I afford a stone workshop? I need 20 energy. Not yet. Which means I need more mills, for which I need more gold. Uh, push into this section here, please. This is mostly going to be housing, but I think I'm going to put a stone workshop in here as well, actually, and as, as well as additional power generation. That's always going. That's going to be kind of handy. I can put one there, but it'll block access. Um, there, actually, and then I can have a, a a quarry there, and then the wall can be like across there. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Uh, pull you guys out though. Do you need me? All right. Look at all these people though, and there's no good place to expand out here, but there's big deposits of iron. Oh, this is... I knew this section was going to be trouble, because it, it looked like it was opening out, but there really is no choke points out that way, so it's going to be a bad idea to expand in that direction. That, that kind of sucks, actually, but, you know. 
Wait, is that... that that's an iron, isn't it? Okay. Yep, that's an iron. So I'll have to put that there. Which means I need to put some energy tower like there. Alright, I also need to put one on this end of course as well. This choke point looks like it expands, so I, I can actually double wall this one as well, like wall here. Here, here, here. Oh, you don't want to go that way, buddy. No, oh, no. Yeah, this is, this is looking pretty solid, actually. No, I am short of workers, that too. That's actually becoming a slight issue again. Like, I've been putting out new resource extraction, and that is costing me workers. My food reserve is also gone, actually. I should build my next farm, which is this one. If I'm going to build one there, then I can build one here for 65 or here for 72. I can't put one in here. Can I put one of these? I can put one of those there for 10. And then I put farm there for 65, 72, 65. So I put farm there. Maximum effect. I can put one in here as well. I just can't afford it, but I can put one there for an additional 65 as well. Look at all this farmland. Oh, jeez. Beautiful stuff. Oh, I can put one there for an extra bit of food as well. An extra 12 food. <laughs> I do love this interspacing of dedicated food space with um, extra doodads and things. Okay, good. This area is holding up okay. I've got the resource out, I've got the power supply out. So the defense for this section will run. Like, I think. Just pause it to figure this out. Tower, 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 tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that looks that looks fine. Alright. So I put in a lookout here to spot things. I also need to look out across here. Actually, I just couldn't afford it, which I did. Why well, I didn't do it earlier? Can I fit in a? Actually, I should just uh, build a college, shouldn't I? Must have free access. No. Okay, so it won't fit in that corner. All right. Can I fit in a food source over here? No, it's too close. Oh. Could fit one in here though, which is going to be you know, worth a little bit of extra food. But in this case, I might as well just flat out put the. Um, oh, that, that took out the last of my gold, didn't it? I might as well put a lookout tower like here in this corner because I can't put any big things over that way. So there we go, so that will reveal a lot of space. This will reveal space across here. I need the gold to properly deal with all this. The problem is I don't, I don't really want to push out here with loud units. Not when I don't really know what's out this way. Because um, if I run into an undead settlement, then it's going to be really, really nasty. So I really don't want to do that. gate like there. Yeah, okay, this is widening out, so that is definitely a choke across here. And that's going to be the new defensive point, or at least part of it. Uh, I need to expand my energy grid, though. I'm just waiting on the gold to appear. Yeah, I'm on that. Okay, right, I've got all this extra food, which is actually cut into my income a bit. So, I'm going to max out my tents right now. My tents are all maxed, all right. And because I've expanded my food, I need to expand my colony size. Not of resources, what? Oh, I'm out of gold. <sighs> of course I am. <laughs> Flip it, gold. There's always something. No matter what, there's always something that you're running a bit short on. Yep, there we go. That's why I didn't want to push out there. That's an, that's an undead settlement just south of me. And I've got re Reveal over here. There's actually a couple of nice choke points that way, but it's a 
so the problem is that I just don't have uh, a good access route to it, especially not with an undead settlement there. Actually, there's a wall there as well, so... Is that is that a barrier? I'm not sure. Hmm. But yeah, that's revealed an area where I don't really want to go. There's a lot of that going around, actually, right now. extra tents. You guys hop in that tower and there we go. This is going to be the defensive line. So you can see I've just spent all my gold putting the towers in but that is where the defenses are going to hold. So I'm going to attack move up there with my guys. I do need more people though. Flat out. I need more dudes. The problem is, of course, gold. I don't have any. Okay, so I've got grid there. And this is going to be another defensive line, so... Um, one, two, three, four... Uh, maybe I should just pull it back a little to here. Two, three, four... One there. Alright, yeah, I'm getting some relatively fast movers attack attracted to me now because of that. Yeah, I'm getting some fast movers. Well, they're, they're infected businessmen, actually, but, uh, you know. I don't know why the businessmen are so fast. It, sorry, executive. Executive is very tough and strong. Do I see any other types in here wandering around? Not really. I am attracting some steady attention, though. There is that going on for me. Energy 20. I really I really want to get the power plant. Because I, I need more resources. Well, I need more power, basically. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's actually a good spot for the warehouse. Sorry, for, for the stone thing. For the stone tech tr tree building? Tech, uh, stone workshop, that's the word. That's the thingy. I can put a power plant there and an extra house there. Like that. And one of these is worth plus 36 NG, so right, that'll give me enough power. And um, I've got enough colonists. So, okay, this will give me enough resources to get that sorted. Can I get into that? Uh, just about. Not quite. Not quite where I want to, though. Oh, that's perfect, actually. There's a thing there. Alright. So, if I put a power relay there, then I can include a fisherman's cottage there. That's jolly good. Those guys can protect this section. These guys can move forward to here, and as soon as that relay gets up, I can get def a defensive cordon across there. I also, of course, need to finish this wall here, too. There is that. But, yeah. Um, this is only this, like, um, well, technically this is the third episode. Though, of course, there was the fact that you guys didn't get us the uh, first one. I think a wall here. Which means one there. Oh, there's a mini horde coming. Okay, shoot him. Yep, I, I do need to keep. I need to keep pushing up, ramp up my defenses further. Uh, that is definitely a thing. I'm going to put. Well, the thing is, it says free to build here, and then there's like a deposit, and I don't know how big the deposit building is, but put that there. It should be okay. I need an additional relay though. Put that there. But yeah, that, that's where you guys are going to set up shop. Protecting this entire area. And then I can afford a stone workshop. Which tucks quite nicely into this area here. Then of course I'm going to boost the remaining houses to get more population out of it. Jolly good. 
jolly good. Also, I need a new lookout tower this way as well, but I can't, can't afford it. Oh, now I can. <laughs> now that's convenient timing. I think one here. Then I'll just uh, finish the wall spread along here, of course. Attention. Building completed. Like that. There we go. Lots and lots of little defences. And that will, of course, reveal what's out to my west. I think I'm getting close to the edge of the map, though. Not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if um, the minimap like zooms in or if it zooms out more until you reach the actual maximum size of the map. But up oh, the east, that means it's going to smash into this section. Uh, it's time to actually spam out a couple of extra troops. But if they're coming from the east, they're going to hit this choke point here, which is going to be a massive pain for them to get through. And that is actually that's a, that is empty. Wow. There's nothing out there. Look at it. There's nothing there. That was a, that would have been a natural expansion. There was just a horde in this section. Huh. Jeez. I am mildly surprised by this. Let's get this um, wall finished along here. Yep, they're, they're going to smash into this area, aren't they? Uh, you guys hop into that tower. You hop into that tower. And you can start access to stone walls because I do need wall resistance, quite honestly. Can I actually afford anything out there? No, I don't have an energy grid connection out there. Ah. That area full of spikes would be absolutely amazing. Wait, four cells apart? Where's the nearest one? Oh wait, there's one there, of course. I'm gonna put one there. No wait, one there's more effective. That's not gonna be ready in time, though. Uh, let's continue to beef defenses. I've not beefed this area yet. So that's where all my gold reserves are going at the moment. I could try to lay in the actual, the last stand wall for this area. But I don't think I'm going to need it. Is that my other soldier? Yeah, that's my other soldier. I now have six soldiers. That is actually not, that's actually worse than last time. What do I need to get more stuff? Shocking tower, attack power, nearby electrical pulses, must be recharged when triggered, so that's a slow farming thingy. Stone house, power plant, that's what I need, power plant. A bank, increases gold generated by colonists in surrounding zones. Oh, here they come. Yep, that's bigger. Foundry, here we go, complex buildings and units based on iron. That's what I need. I need to get a foundry ASAP. Yeah, look at this, they, they, they have real trouble getting through here. Oh dear, I think like only a couple of them can even attack it at a time. Wow. <laughs> that poor horse. Wait, they're attacking someone else? No, it's just over here. Okay, yeah, they're starting to get past through that, that, that completely single point choke. But this is so narrow, and it covers such a big area. It's so so good to just have all that stuff in there. Yeah, look at that. That, that, that horde is just getting chewed to pieces. Stone house. Yes, please. Yeah, that, that, that just completely soaked that wave. But that, to be fair, that was still an early horde. Um... Right, let's do that, and then let's trap out past that. So yeah, that, that that's like very very bad for them. And I have actually got a whole bunch of veteran soldiers after that as well, because so many of them just got.
killed. So that's good. Right. I need to choose a where I want to expand. My natural expansion right now is this part here. And then this... Uh, I don't, I, I'm not sure. Oh, you're wandering that way, so I think there is actually a breach down there. If I tell the soldiers to go that way... Yeah, they head down here, so there is definitely a gap there leading to the undead berg. Great idea, sir. Oh, I think this is where the damage came from, actually. A couple of runners. Right. Just guide me to the yeah, I, I think I think that, that's what happened there. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that wall gets knocked on slightly every, so, every once in a while. There we go, just add in a layer of spikes to that and pair everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jolly good. Jolly good, old chaps. Jolly good. Alright. I should probably grab some better defences as well, but Foundry will give me access to new iron based units, probably requiring oil, but I've already got an oil patch within very easy grabbing distance which I might actually grab now but I kind of don't know what the size of the building is that is required to harvest it I, guess I don't know what's out here to be quite honest with you so you know there's a lot of unknowns going on right now what I can do however is harvest well harvest yes I harvest grab a bit more gold as soon as I can afford to build the houses. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit unhappy with the size of my army at the moment. I can, I can at least start putting a dent in this section, I suppose. So yeah, I'll attack move up that way. Yeah, that'll keep me busy for a little bit. But, yep, that's getting a bit of extra attention actually coming in that way. Oh, yep, that's a bit too much coming. Back off a little. Of course. Yeah, this is why I want more guns flat out. They'd be very useful to have. Defenses are being attacked. Defenses are being attacked over there, really? I think I need more defenses over this way too. Oh, wait a second. Uh, okay, so I've got access to stone houses now. Plus 16 colonists, so again, it doubles it. Uh, plus 8 workers, so again, it doubles it. And again, it gives a bonus to the gold intake at a cost to the energy. Instead of 3, it costs 10. I really, really need power plants. I mean, I, I can't. I, I don't think I can get that with mills. I honestly don't think I can get that with mills. Where can I fit some more mills? I can't get it with mills! Hey, hang on while I build some more mills. <laughs> That's basically it, yeah. Ow, oh, I'm actually missing a bit of engine grid in that area too. Really? Um, um, okay, so I'm going to build an energy tower, relay tower over there then. Okay, but yeah, I think I need to step up to power plants, quite honestly, which means I need to get the tech for it. Yeah, 800. Uh, work requires eight workers, provides a, but probably provides a bucket load of power. I don't know. I've never actually finished building it. The problem is, of course, I need the. Yeah, I'm just too short on gold right now. Not for long, they're not. I need more. I need more guards down there as well. Jeez. Okay, this one doesn't get much business, so I'm going to send one of you down there, and one of you is going to join this one because this this area gets some business sometimes as well. This one is really well protected, so you're okay. But yeah, the, an extra some extra guardians are required down there. 
I'm still going to try to do what I did last time, which is, well, in the uh, previous one this week, which is I'm going to try to have a tower full of rangers for silent defense. And then I'll start to get some more powerful stuff mixed in as well. Because the rangers actually have better range than the soldiers, so it's good for, like, snipers will generate some noise when I start to put them in the towers. But the uh, the rangers will then be able to take up and deal with things that start to close in before they get into range of the soldiers, because the soldiers have got shorter range than the rangers have. So that sounds like a good compromise. Have a tower full of quiet, deadly ones, which can help out. And then I'll probably spread them out among multiple towers after a bit. Okay, you've got your in there, so get you over there. Because we do need some extra stuff over there. Uh, I've got access to the power plant now. Let's check how much that costs. I remember it's 3x3. Three three. It is... NG plus 160. Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. Actually. Um, I could put a farm in... Uh, yeah, but there's space there for a farm. So, energy-wise, I think my first power plant is going to be down here. No, that's where I want to put another barracks, if I can. I could use this for farming, but right now it's like looks like I'm dedicating it to energy instead. If I put one there... Well, I can't put any smaller buildings back here, can I? Hmm. If I put one there and one there, I can put another house or two in there. Actually... So yeah, that, that's the better arrangement, so... One there. Yeah. There we go, my first power plant going down. And this time I'm going to live to enjoy it. In theory. But that's going to supply me with massive bucket loads of power. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's no... Yeah, okay. I don't need to worry about putting them too close together. Hmm. If I get rid of that cottage there, actually, I can fit in another power plant and I'll have space for an additional barracks in this area as well. <laughs> the power! The power! Yes! I'm going to go mad with the power. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just casually insane, as always. Uh, put that there. Yep. And I'll delete that cottage there. And I'll put in an additional barracks there. I just can't afford it right now. Uh, but with those power plants, I'll be able to start upgrading my houses to um, stone houses as soon as I can afford the energy to do so. Which is the big issue. Yeah, just, just leaving these guys here is just like drawing this horde in. Unfortunately, I've just realised I've actually overrun slightly on my timing. So, yeah, apologies for that. A foundry is 20 workers, 50 energy, and 2,000 gold. Jeez. However, I think I need that to unlock better units, because there's no unit text in this one. So, yeah, I need a foundry. 2,000 gold, ouch. I'm definitely going to need stone houses for that, but I'm, I'm, I'm swimming in food, so I'm okay for food. Oh, yeah. Put one there for 65. That's fine. And that is my farming area used up. I've used this one for different things. So, yeah, that's going to have to come for a later date. Oh, I put one there, it's worth plus five. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, it's minus three... What? Minus three stone? Power... It says power plants run on... Com oh, the power plants run on... Ah! So each power plant is worth... M is that in the tooltips? Hang on. Stone production is too low to maintain this building. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Right. So these consume wood and stone. I'm absolutely fine for the wood, but the stone is proving to be an issue. So, let's see. There is something I figured out, 
which is um, that you can stone uh, production things. They you can't overlap them, but you can use the green area to work out where you can put them. If I put one there, I can put one there, which is worth four, five, six, seven stone, which will be a net plus four. The problem is I'm about to hit a stone expansion phase when I need stone. There's still a gap there. So if I put that there, and then I put that one... Oh, I can't afford it, really? Oh, I'm out of workers. Why am I out of workers? Oh, darn it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted, yeah. Um, I have to end the video, yeah. This has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed... The... Yeah, look at that. They look awesome. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I'll catch you all some other time. Next time, I must focus on getting my stone shortage sorted out. Where can I go for that? Hmm. Attention. Building completed. Could push up this way, I suppose. Building completed. But yeah, see you all later. I just love things like this. I really do. <laughs> Steampunk, baby. I, I wish Frostpunk would hurry up and come out on early access so I could play that. Jeez. Attention. Building completed.